Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. For our radio audience tuning in at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all can be with us. Also, tune in online worldwide via our podcast at Our Heart Radio and Amazon Music. We're glad you all could be with us as well. When I say the name Catherine Lee Scott, of course, you know her as a celebrated actress who's worked with some amazing actors on projects along the way. But she's definitely remembered for the show, of course, that I got to know her from, and that being Dark Shadow. Shadows. Well, this year, she's reuniting with several of the original cast members for the two-day Dark Shadows Remembrance Weekend that's taking place July 5th and 6th. I want to tell you guys about all of that. It's taking place at the Marriott Burbank Airport Hotel. We're going to talk to Miss Scott not only about her amazing career, but also what it's been like for her to see how the fans have followed her along the way, and also what she's looking forward to when it comes to this special weekend as well. Miss Scott, thank you again for dropping by. I really appreciate the time. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to talk to you. And I'm really excited about our Dark Shadows Remembrance Weekend. It's the first time that all of the Dark Shadows actors, the original actors, have been together uh, meeting fans since our 50th anniversary, which was eight years ago. Uh, Dark Shadows is 58 years old this year. Ms. Scott, let's talk about that, because it is amazing. When you say Dark Shadows, people know exactly what you're talking about. Could you have imagined when you were in it, at the, at the time, that it would become something that people, for, for, I mean, literally for decades, would not only talk about, but also remember? You know, in the beginning, when we, when we first started the show, and I was on that very first day, it was a, sort of a gothic romance. And it wasn't until that Jonathan Frid came on the show as Barnabas Collins that it really took off. And then, and then I think we all knew that we were part of something very special. And it turns out, of course, 1,225 episodes later, that, that we were right. We were doing an afternoon show that was sort of a, a gothic uh, anthology series, uh, mm-hmm. time traveling through a couple of centuries, doing all sorts of special effects, on live TV, uh, you know, we were work. We we took six hours uh, to put together a live show at three thirty. They locked the doors of the studio, and whatever happened, we just plowed through that half hour. If something went wrong, it went wrong, and you just had to carry on. I think all of the um, all of the shows that call themselves live now are really just sort of hybrids. We really were live. Yeah, yeah. And I think to have the success that it had, I mean, being ABC's highest rated daytime series, but also, I mean, again, here we are in 2024, as you said, I mean, over 50 years later, that people not only, of course, are talking about it, but thanks to social media, they're, they still blog about it. Miss Scott, as you know, and I know that, that you and some of the other cast members are on social. What has that experience been like for you to see how people are not only, of course, following you and, and what you're doing now, but also talking about this show that meant so much to them. You know, I think the, the thing that really strikes me is that we have 10, 11, and 12-year-olds who are watching Dark Shadows now for the first time, and they're discovering it because of the DVDs and because it's available mm-hmm. on Prime and, and all, at Peacock, all of these uh, YouTube, all of these platforms that didn't exist back then. Uh, the fact that uh, that we were inspiring for so many filmmakers uh, who went on to do, you know, uh, Star Trek and all the rest of them um, is really kind of amazing. Uh, and there's a very good chance that Dark Shadows will be coming back. Uh, I know that uh, it's in the works, and I think that some of us who were in the original series uh, almost 60 years ago will be part of the new production. Mm. Well, I was not expecting you know, that we news. Had, that... We had an audience of like 20 million back in the day. So yeah. uh, it'll be very interesting to see if this new series that's being planned uh, will will attract that same kind of audience. I think that it will. 
Oh, I think it will as well, which leads us perfectly then, Ms. Scott, back to what we were talking about, what's happening this summer, July 5th and 6th at the Marriott Burbank Airport Hotel, the two-day Dark Shadows Remembrance Weekend. Uh, first of all, I'm sure you have been able to stay connected with, with some of your, your former cast members, but what is it like to know that you guys can be together, not only with spend time together, but also to spend time with your fans this summer? Oh, you know, that that's going to be the best part of this weekend. I never tire of meeting somebody who tells me that they ran home from school to watch the show. It really makes me feel good. And one of my very closest friends from the Dark Shadows cast was Laura Parker, who played Angelique, the witch on Dark Shadows. And she passed away last October. So the first night, July 5th, we are going to be celebrating the life of Laura Parker. That is free and open to the public. And then the following day, uh, July 6th, we're going to be celebrating the 100th birthday of Jonathan Fred, who played Barnabas College. So essentially, we're celebrating the 100th birthday of the 200-year-old vampire. And we're going to be showing rare footage from, from the show, the bloopers that everybody loves, all the things that went wrong. And uh, there'll be autograph sessions, and David Selby and, and I are going to be performing and Jim Storm, who's a, a wonderful singer, and and uh, he's, he's going to be performing. Uh, so the fact that Roger Davis, Lisa Richards, Jerry Lacey, Nancy Barrett, who was on the very first day with me, we're all going to be there meeting the fans, and, and I think that's going to be really fun. Love that. Love that. And one of the things I noticed also happening, Scott, on that Saturday is the, the screening of Dark Shadows and Beyond. Uh, the Jonathan Fritz yeah. story. I, 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 I think that's going to be so exciting. I want to let our audience know, if you have not gotten tickets already on Eventbrite, which we have linked for our audience for the radio site on Facebook, but also for the podcast, Eventbrite is saying there's few tickets left, so do not miss this. Again, so go to eventbrite.com to be able to go to Dark Shadows Remembrance Weekend. We're going to make it easy for you guys by putting the link with this broadcast here so you can make sure you get your ticket to be a part of this amazing event. Uh, Ms. Scott, I'm so glad that, that you're able to spend some time with us. I really appreciate the time. Congratulations on your extraordinary success, and, and I look forward to speaking with you again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pleasure is definitely all mine. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live, and let's go make today amazing. Take care.